we're live. Uh, hold on. Good evening, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hey, Adam G, your online inspirational talk show. Tonight, I have a very special guest. You know, Mother Earth really celebrated with so much joy when she showcased her wit and intellect exactly four years ago. And now, as environmental questions get asked more in beauty pageants, I think she is the best person to talk about in terms of how to attack all these environmental questions with so much depth and passion so let's bring her out here she is live without further ado please say hello to miss earth 2017 karen ibasco hi, hi karen hello hello hi good evening adam and good evening to everyone who's watching <laughs> <laughs> Maraming salamat sa time and effort in doing this You're interview. Welcome. I know you have been so busy with a lot of engagements. I am. <laughs> I, I'm following you on Instagram and I kita ko yung mga ginagawa. So, mm -hmm. how, are you, how has it been like since being crowned Miss Earth? Exactly, more than like exactly tapos plus three days. November 4, di ba? Yeah. Four years actually, ago. Actually, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, my life changed in one night, and definitely um, I got connections and networks locally and internationally, and I'm just maximizing the brand that I have. Um, it just really shows that I did not join for the sake of a crown. I joined more than um, just wanting a crown, and it's really the message that I want to share to people, and I just want to continue with that. So it's one thing that I continue after my reign. Uh, how do you feel that even... Four years after your reign, people still really remember you. Actively it, tagging you on uh -huh. social media, you mark you and Eclipse more, especially now. Miss Earth is, <laughs> is having it's another edition again, diva. Right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, I feel very overwhelmed that up until now, people still remember me for that. And I'm just very grateful for the acceptance of people. And at the same time, that they see the things that I do are actually relevant. And that you mentioned about um, environmental questions being asked, and people would always think that kapag environmental, oh, it's Karen, you know, you, you have to ask uh -huh. her. But first thing I can say is that I don't know everything. I just research the things that are quite relevant and try to say it in my own words the way I understand it so people can understand it more. That's how I do it. Ano yung pakiramdam na parang, o nga eh, minention mo na, na parang when it comes to environmental questions, ikaw yung go-to person. Na parang, ay, kailangan isa, <laughs> basta kailangan magpa-tutor ka kay Karen about environmental <laughs> questions, about how to ace it. Uh -huh. Funny, kasi ano talaga, um, honestly, hindi naman ako like very um, educated before when it comes to environmental topics, but I just did my part. So when I joined an organization, I made sure that I was ready for that organization. So I did my research. So one thing you can do is also read some articles, understand what your the plan is going through. That's how I started. And then I continue reading and understanding more of what's really happening. So when they ask me, you should actually ask Karen about this. You know, I can give you tips. I can give you tips, but definitely um, how you understand things, how you say things, it's going to be still up to you. So I can only help you so much, but it's still going to be up to the person who's going to answer. Nice. So, so paano yun? So, yung mga successors mo, the ones who came after you, were they asking mm -hmm. for your help uh, during their reign or during the time that they were about to compete for the international competition? Yes. Well, actually, lahat naman kami, we really help each other. So, we actually offer our help as well and we give our advice. Um, hindi lang sa environmental, but as, you know, in general, sometimes even with other pageants, hindi naman kailangan lahat from Miss Earth. So, generally, it's still a pageantry, you know. Um, I just got my brand. Nagkaroon lang ako ng talagang tatak for people. Oh. And I always encourage them. Diba? I always encourage them na um, don't try to be someone else. Try to find your own niche 
try to understand your own brand and just be you. And people would understand and feel your authenticity when you bring out who you are as a person. That's what I always share to people. How do you feel that until now, nag-resonate pa rin yung ano, naging iconic na yung micro-macro <laughs> effect? Sobrang funny. Pero may guma. May mga gumaya na. May mga I gumaya know. na sa... <laughs> I know. Um, I'm very honored. I'm very honored that people are using it. And saka lagang, pag nakikita mo sa comments, I would do comments, I would do videos, people would always reply to me, Mom, salamat sa answer mo ah, kasi may pandagdag ako sa essay ko. <laughs> <laughs> People would always say that, and uh, you know, it it overwhelms my heart, and um, I'm just happy that they're still quoting me. So I'm oh. very, very grateful. You know, I feel like you that. know, I feel like um, because um, earlier this year I interviewed Brooke Lee, mm-hmm. uh, Miss Universe 1997, and you know, she's so iconic because yeah. because of her answer in Miss Universe. Parang feeling ko 25 years from now. Panagbalik tanaw tayo, magiging ano ka par, iconic ka parin because of that answer. <laughs> wow, thank you, thank you. Salamat, salamat. I'm very ano, honored ha- kapag ano. Okay, parang ano ba yun, yung parang nung una, di ba, parang um, nung una, uh, yung there's so many things, uh, there were so many things that they, that were being said about your win. Pero ngayon, mm-hmm. parang feeling, feeling ko, history is really judging you. Uh-huh. favorably na parang sa'yo yung huling hala. Parang ganun. Parang vindication. Parang <laughs> on your part, yeah. di ba? So, I'm very honored. Lang. Yeah, I'm very oh. honored. Kasi, what do you call this? Um, you have to leave a trademark. You know? When you join a competition, you need to understand your edge. But you also have to leave your trademark if you want to be really remembered further on, even after your reign. True. Wait, there's a, there's a comment here from our live viewer. Um, his name, I'll flash it on screen. Uh, Renya okay. Burgos is saying, Hello, Adam. I admire Karen Ebasco because I think she's the most intelligent Miss Earth ever and one of the <laughs> best queens of the Philippines. I wish I could be as eloquent as her. Wag naman wish. Oh. Pwede mo pa naman habulin. <laughs> True. Ilang libro ba yung nabasa mo pa rin? <laughs> <laughs> of course, Renya. Kayang-kaya mo din yan. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll share number, some Rainiel? tips. Yeah, how old are you? I think he's young. He uh-huh. looks young though. He looks uh-huh. quite young. He looks young though. And then ito pal, um, from another viewer, from Jimmy Losada. Ha ha ha, nadagdag ko talaga yung answer niya sa essay ko. Oh. I told you. I told you. Laging ganyan yung comments nila sa akin. <laughs> Pang add sa essay. And then another one. One of my favorite queens. I became her usher when she gave a talk in DLS Yulipa last 2018. Wow. Oh, hi, Dylan. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Ito, ito na yun. Ako, nabuking tayo. Nabuking yung ano ko. Nabuking yung, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yung agenda ko. Dapat exclusive advice na lang for Miss Philippines for Miss Universe. <laughs> Sana, sabi niya. <laughs> Uh, o sana. O sana rin na sagot sa'yo, Jeron. So, anyway, now that we are talking, oh, we were about to say mm-hmm, something mm-hmm. kanina. Unfortunately, I cut you off. Um, nung, nung binasa ko yung comment ni Rainiel Burgos when, you were, when we were talking oh, about how many yes, books yes. that you were reading. Reading. Well, honestly, super funny because people didn't know that I was never academically inclined. I had really bad stage frights growing up, growing up and I had... Uh, I couldn't speak in straight English. So I am not the person you see now. I am completely different. I didn't grow up in a family that speaks in English. I didn't grow up I didn't grow up in a school that speaks in English as well as its first language. I just learned in the process and I tried and I practiced myself. So I went out of a comfort zone and yeah, that's how I started in college. I started in college. So Panion, um like extra tutorial with your English teacher. Did you ask no. your English teacher to, to give you books to read? Ganyan. Kasi ako ganun ang ginawa sa akin. Alam mo ba, nung high school, bagsak, really? bagsak din ako. Kasi um, I came from a, a Filochai school. I, I came from, I had a different school when I was in elementary. Tapos mm-hmm. my parents uh, transferred me to another exclusive boy, to another exclusive boy school. Tapos yung English um, curriculum nila dun, sobrang taas. Talagang, mm. pag, 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 nung first year high school ko, pagdating ko dun, Talagang yung mga grades ko talaga mula first quarter hanggang fourth quarter. 73, 66, 65. Talagang 
So by the time ng second quarter, I'm nag uh, nagpa-tutor na ako. Tapos mm-hmm. my English teacher was recommending me, suggesting me to read a lot of books like yung Kila Ogmandino, yeah, um, Lord yeah. of the Fly, ano ba yun? Lord of the Flies. Ay, tama ba yung mm-hmm. title ng book? Oo. So yun, <laughs> The Greatest Salesman. So yun yung mga yes. binabasa ko talaga. And, and yun, in, over the years, medyo nag-improve. So, yes, yes. Tama yun. So, um, it's, it's important to read books. It's important to watch movies and documentary documentaries that has meaning it helps you to become better with your pronunciation um, with your pacing so it really helps though and especially when you hear a lot of people converse in english it helps you um, to become better so read articles aloud read books aloud it really helps your grammar it helps your construction of sentences to become better um, read books to also help you articulate better for you to understand and comprehend it you know it, it really helps that's how i also started and then really try to speak it a lot of people are afraid because it's not their first language they're afraid to be rejected but it's okay to make mistakes everybody makes mistakes so you really have to try because if you don't have to try you'll never learn so it's okay to make mistakes but just try i never thought that you also had struggles in speaking english when you were younger Wow, Definitely. that makes you so much relatable. <laughs> Wait, As a can person. we engage? <laughs> yeah, so can we engage our some of our viewers who are also tuned in? Um, my fa- um Glasper Squad. Um, ano ba to sabi niya? <laughs> my favorite queen, Karen Ibasco. Thank so you. happy to see her again virtually. Sana ganyan din ako mm-hmm. katalino. <laughs> Kaya mo din. Another- Definitely. From from Ed Palma, hello Adam and Ate Kare. The micro and macro words were really became, you became the highlight a highlight of my essay. <laughs> so, I told you, I told you. <laughs> my God! So sa susunod na generation, makilalabas ulit yung mga micro macro na yan sa Q and I mean sa mga sagot na mga aspiring beauty queens. Kung kanyang lahat sila, eh, nasa essay nila sinusulat. So um, from uh, Vaccine Covida Medina, Most Intelligent Miss Earth, Shout out po Miss Quarren from Amanda Rose. Um, Kurt is also saying likewise. All uh, Miss Karen sets the bar so high in the Q and A portion of Miss Earth. Oh, thank you, thank you. Very so. Honest. Speaking of Miss Earth, mm-hmm. they're having another edition now, and ngayon second year na nilang doing the virtual format. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, how do you feel about it? Ikaw ba, kung sakaling lumala, if you were, let's say, competing in this mm-hmm. year's setup, how would you have strategized your game plan knowing that the setup for this year is virtual? Well, honestly, you know, a lot of people would say, first of all, I really want to say on behalf of Miss Earth that I respect them because other pageants even canceled, other pushed through. You know, there are different uh, decisions of the organization, but you really have to respect that. And one thing that I liked about Mr. Earth is that they just really want to put the health of all the people with the production and the candidates as a priority. Personally, I had COVID and it was not a joke. There are so many people who died out of COVID and I really respected how Miss Earth handled it by wanting to continue the business. So they just adopted because there's so many companies also did that, you know, Hindi lang naman si Miss Earth. You would really see that they really adapted. Every company did virtual. Walang company sa nagpapasok din because it's not, uh, it's so risky. And then you would hear people dying right and left. So that's one thing I really want to say. I really want to commend Miss Earth for that. And just tune in because, you know, something going to happen also virtually the upcoming Miss Earth this November. So stay tuned on that. Um, one thing I can say when it comes to strategizing on virtual, it's not the same as it is performed uh, live. It's it's not the same, but you really have to capture the ears of people by understanding what you say, how you project yourself in the camera, because everything's done through videos, you know? It's different, so you really have to capture them in the first five seconds. Um, it's not the same in the live. It's quite, yes. um, may, may similarities, because <coughs> yung labas mo palang, kailangan yung, um, pe- you would catch people's attention. Yes. Much more now, but virtually, oh, oh, definitely. Oh, oh, oh. 
much more pag virtually kasi people are like na and talk minsan pag virtual so kailangan extra yung effort mo that people would actually um, notice you when you go out on screen when you speak you would capture more of their attention so you have to double your efforts now it's not a joke virtual is not a joke lahat ng setup um with all the events that i do i do i have to do more kailangan okay yung internet mo kasi pangit naman kung naglalag ka so you have to find optimal distance with your router. I'm not kidding. Ah. Those are the things that happen. And then right now, um, walang masyadong team to help you. So you really have to be techie. You have to know, pag hindi gumagana yung ganyan mo, there are things that you have to learn and you really have to adjust. It's actually harder now. So if you want to win, you have to double your strategies and to, you know, double your efforts. Oo nga eh, kasi hindi lang pasarela, aura-aura yeah. ang iisipin mo yung mga camera projections mo, pero yung ano mo rin eh, kailangan yung background mo maganda, di ba? Yeah. Minsan nakakaagaw ng attention <laughs> din yan, kasi nga, yes. alam mo everything is so virtual. So, yeah. so yun nga eh, you, know, you said it earlier, but how do you feel when, you know, when a lot of people, some critics are still, uh, you know, parang trying to gauge the success of a, pag- of a pageant organization, like Miss Earth in terms of how it's staging its pageants on an annual day basis physically. You know what I mean? Uh, you mean how do they see it now that it's virtual? Yeah, but, you know, whether it's virtual or physical, mm-hmm. alam mo yun, why does it matter for a lot of people in order for a pageant to be called successful? Oh, in I believe. To the new uh-huh. normal? I guess. It's, it's important to understand what the purpose of the organization really is about and how it's executed and their priorities. So that's very, very important. As I said earlier, pageant is still a business. So even though the pandemic happened, it doesn't mean that you have to close your business, but you have to first adapt. So all the businesses adapted. All big companies, multinational companies, all do their meetings through Zoom. Lahat. Um, you can't actually let them go inside the offices like as i was saying earlier i had covid personally and it's not it was not a joke um it was so hard because you're going to be isolated especially with your loved ones lalo na kapag um something happens na lumala so you don't know if you're going to see your family member in the flesh again so there are protocols to follow if something happens with your family and they're in the hospital dalatin sila sayo abuna so that's that's how hard it was, not just physically, mentally, and so on. So I guess it's what's important is that the execution, the purpose of the organization, their priorities are important, and how they really show it every single year, how they thrive, even though pandemic happens. So you need to understand that per organization, and you need to learn to respect that. Um, whatever they choose to um, decide <coughs> on pursuing or not pursuing this year, or how they actually execute it every single year. Pero to be fair ha, sa Miss Earth ha, whether virtual or physical ha, talagang they really crown yeah. the right queen. ba? <laughs> Especially last year, nagulat ako, alam mo yun, parang kahit yes. virtual setup, nakuha pa rin nila, even if would not, even if not, inter, even if they are not interacting with the girls physically, they still manage, yeah. Miss Earth, Carousel Production still managed to crown the right girl. Mm-hmm, for mm-hmm. last year, which is Lindsay Coffee, yeah, So, Lindsay, nakakatuwa, yeah. no, talagang, the girl, I mean, the organization is really unapologetic talaga with its mission mm. of finding the right girl, the right environmental yeah. warrior for the organization's causes, no? Wala lang, na, ano lang ako, na-amaze <laughs> lang ako na whether virtual or physical, talagang, wala, unapologetic, bala kayo dyan. Gagawin mm-hmm. pa rin namin itong pageant na to. Bala kayo, whether manood kayo or hindi. Basta nandito pa rin kami. <laughs> COVID lang yeah. napapaano sa amin. Parang ganun, di ba? Yeah. Totoo so, ito. Yeah, so, oo, oh, oh, yeah, napapanganga talaga kami pa nagsasalita si Miss Karen. So, yun na nga, napapanganga na nga kami and all. So, eto na. Let's go to the meaty part of this interview. Um, Karen, um, in your opinion, um, you know, a lot of people think that you are really a brainy Miss Earth title holder. So in your opinion, what are the environmental issues candidates need to brush up on? Well, kahit ano ah, well, regardless, kahit hindi pa, kahit pang Miss Earth. Siyempre kasi, di ba, the girl has to prepare for, for all kinds of questions coming their way, yeah. right? So in your opinion, especially when we talk about the environmental issues, anong topics ang kailangan nilang i-brush up on? 
Ang dami. Environmental issues are so broad that you need to understand, even just the general side, let's say plastics, you need to understand carbon emissions, you need to understand climate change, you need to understand global warming. So those are the things that are a little basic that a lot of people would hear about. But you need to understand how this happens. Because you know, sometimes before I joined Miss Earth, this is real, uh, I would always hear girls answer, it's about cleaning up, it's about recycling. It's true. It's true that it's about cleaning up and recycling. But you need to uh, educate your audience more of why you have to recycle. What's the concept of recycling? You say it in layman's term, but you're still educating them in a next level. That's what I did. You know, what I did was that, you know, I don't want to be the typical girl who would say, you need, you have to clean up and stuff. I totally get that. But I, do, I want to make it of a depth at the same time educating you in a sense. So I will educate you in layman's term. So that's what I did. I maximized my field, I researched, and then I used layman's term for you to understand more about climate change. So I started with energy conservation, I started with renewable energy, and then it's going to grow bigger for you to understand different concepts of the environment. So it's not just one, there's so many. So you have to be um, widely read, you need to be educated, actually you need to be cultured um, with the things that you understand. Kasi when it comes to environmental issues, you cannot make it up. It's a fact. So if you make it up, it's going to be wrong. <laughs> you have to understand the facts. Because if you don't, people would know you're saying the wrong thing. That's the hard part about that. You need to understand. You need to know. Because if you don't know, sure enough, it's going to be wrong. So you have to be careful of understanding, not memorizing, but really understanding it from the heart and saying it in your own words. But you have to make sure it's right. If you're going to bring out numbers, you have to make sure it's from the right source. Because that's a fact. So you have to be very careful about that. That's one thing I've learned about Miss Earth. That's why I researched. It's not a typical general question that um, depends on a person's insight. It's not that. In this case, you need to understand facts and how a person answers. So it's actually insights and facts combined together. So you need to understand those things. So, from the way I understood your answer, kailangan mo talaga mag-research. And hindi ka lang basta-basta mag-research, mag-research during that time that you were uh, that you are about to yeah. join the pageant. That, but dapat even way before. Kasi yes. we're talking about facts, evidences here, usually mm-hmm. science by nature. Yeah. And it will take time for you to process these whole things, right? Hindi mo basta-basta mm-hmm. na parang, okay, nagsubmit ako ngayon ng application form. Three days after <laughs> official candidate na ako. Pagdating na official candidate, doon pa lang ako mag-aano. Mag-aaral. Oh. Doon pa lang ako mag-aaral. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, yun nga eh. Ang daming mga issues. So, wala pa lang specific. So, kailangan all-encompassing ka about uh, environment. Akala ko, basta, basta makuha mo lang yung mga certain yeah. points about climate change, pasok ka na sa banga. Hindi pala yun. <laughs> Para, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ang, ang lalim kasi ng climate change that people don't understand. Don't, don't get me wrong. Ah. Yes, it's science-based, but you don't have to be a scientist. People would always think na, ay, naku, kailangan scientist para manalo. So they they would try to copy my brand. No, 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 no. That's not it. Um, Nagkaroon lang ako ng edge. But it doesn't Uh-oh. mean that you have to be like me. No. There are things that I actually did that became my edge, but there are things that you can do to help you bring out your brand. All right. So, sige, since you said na yung, it involves a lot of research when mm-hmm. it comes to answering environmental Q and A. So, what for you are the resources that these girls could use, whether online or offline, to get okay. valid information about these environmental topic topics, like mm-hmm. who they can reach out to, sa ang website sila pupunta. For example, <laughs> di ba? Kanya, let's say sa climate change. Tapo niya, ang topic ay climate change. Sinong tatanungin ko? Sino website? Ah, ano mga websites ang mga dapat nating dapat nilang pinupuntahan para na makaroon sila ng easy reference, Idea, alam mo yeah. basic no basic ideas about climate change. Mm-hmm. Well, generally, I would want to say, um, this is the same thing that teachers would say in the academe. As much as possible, if you want to, no, not as much as possible. If you really want to get facts and statistics, don't go to Wikipedia. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, would say, go to Wikipedia. So, okay lang naman na general gusto mo maintindihan. May makukuha ka sa Wikipedia. But don't get stats on Wikipedia. You have to go through, uh, you have to go to 
mga trusted websites talaga. Like if you want to know more about the climate, go to Climate Change Commission. It's a free website. It's under the government. There are so many documentaries as well on YouTube that are great. Leonardo DiCaprio released one. It's about two hours, but it's really, really good. Um, it's uh, Before the Flood or Beyond the Flood, I believe. It's, it's a great documentary. There's so many documentaries on Discovery Plus, on Netflix, that you can learn so much. So, I am magbasa. There are good videos, good documentaries that, you know, David Attenborough and a lot of prominent naturalists and environmentalists that you can learn from. And dami, and dami resources. Um, what are the other things? If you want to learn more about it, you can go to United Nations. They have a specific section on the environment especially that the COP26 is currently happening. So that's very, very important. And stuff like that. And they're all for free. They're free. So you just really have to make time to understand them and to really research on them. So madugo pala talaga, no? Hindi talaga yeah. parang flip service. Alam mo, kasi di ba may sa pag sumasagot ko ng Q&A so in general sa pages, parang may deka hong mga sagot na, di ba? <laughs> We call so, it yung, pageant party, yeah. Oo, uh, uh, yung mga tipong you know, dadagdagan mo na lang sa gitna, tapos okay, yeah. pasok mo na lang yung mga killer ending sentences mo para finish ka na. ba? Yeah, Pero yeah. with with Miss Earth, especially in nga, environmental questions, kailangan talagang, kasi ito napansin ko, ba? When, whenever I watch beauty pageants, Q&A portion, lagi nila sinas, mm. lagi kung, lagi natin sinasabi, it's better for these girls to personalize their answer whenever they're yeah. being asked. So that people, the judges, the people, the audience could really relate to them. But mm-hmm. when you relate it naman to environmental questions, the um the way you personalize it by is by adding uh is by adding uh is backing up with valid information, meaty mm-hmm. facts about it mm-hmm. to make your to make your answer more intelligent, alam mo yon, para makita yeah. nila talaga yung depth and passion mo. Because if you're just going, okay, we need to solve climate change because our ozone layer is depleting, ganyan, ganyan. Mm, mm, mm. Parang, parang, ano na, parang, uh, parang, alam mo yun, parang nag-deep service ka lang, walang dating. Pero pag ikaw, nagsalita, pero ikaw, pag dinagdagan mo ng valid information yeah. about what you research about the topic in the middle of your answer within 30 seconds, that makes the whole difference. Mm, mm. That's what yep. I'm getting from you. Yep, definitely. Um, It's not just what you read in books. But understanding what you read in books and making it your answer. Like what I did, um, I got jargons scientifically, like the macro, micro, um, recalibrate. That's what I used, redirect. So it became personalized with my brand as a scientist, the way I answered the question. It's still a fact when I answered it, but it makes it so personalized because I added some jargons in my field. So good siya. That, that's, that's the way I did it. Eh? Um, don't get me wrong that people have to do that. That's just one technique that you can follow or you can, uh, yeah, you can follow. So perhaps iba yung, kasi iba yung technique of other winners eh. Nagkaroon lang ako ng sarili kong technique and edge. So I just um, incorporated what I can based on my background and how I saw myself as an edge in a competition. So you can do that too. It's better for you to evaluate yourself first how you understood things, and then you can incorporate everything when you're there. Oh, yeah, na, girls, uh, whoever's watching, uh, <laughs> take it from Karen, from her experience, yeah. nagdagan niya ng mga jargons niya, ng mga malalalim, yeah. ng mga high fucking words, like recalibrate. <laughs> yeah. Diba? Or it's, yung mga ibang girls, yung pinanood kong ibang contestants kayo, empirical evidence, ano pa ba, <laughs> social responsibility, ano yeah. pa ba yung mga, ano, diba? So, uh, so, I hope ano, I hope she can collaborate for Miss Universe Green Advocacy. Sana, diba? Why not, right? <laughs> Hopefully, um, yeah. I'm open to it. So, ayun na nga. Let's face it then, though. When we, you know, when girls answer Q&As, it is inevitable or hindi mm-hmm. inevitable na parang they also have to get ready with questions that are, you know, kind of politics- uh, mm, kind of politics in nature. So let's yeah. face it, because I believe with environmental issues, politics will always be involved, whether you know we believe it 
or or not especially kung ngari kung climate change yung topic kung naniniwala ka talaga sa climate change or hindi so if a girl is asked about something politically divisive mm. how should she answer it mm. let's say ito bitin ng yeah. viewer eh ikaw bahala ka na kung gusto mo sagutin o what miss Karen ano pong opinion niyo po sa Dolomite Beach Uh, ah, okay. Yung mga ganyan, yung mga medyo okay. medyo divisive on topic na parang pag sumagot ka in favor o hindi favor, mm-hmm. makabash ka. In well, your opinion, how, if you encounter yeah. questions like that, how do you deal with it? Actually, before I competed, it's isa yan sa mga talagang I prepared for. Kasi baka matanong ako ng ganyang questions. Not just in the environment, uh, generally about racism, about homosexuality, about um, transgender joining this and that. In general, that's how I prepared. Hindi lang environment. I, I prepared wide range of questions for myself. Okay, Karen, when this is question is asked of you, how would you answer? And you know how I would always um, get into a platform where I want to say it? I don't compensate my beliefs. I say it my, in my own words, but I will make sure that I'm not going to degrade anyone down. So that's how I answer things. Um, I would stand in my belief, but you, ha- you have to be careful to use your platform that you would still reach out to people. That's how I do it. Kapag may political questions, you have to be careful na um, you're not putting any party down, but you're playing it safe in a way that you're still respectful in what you're being opinionated about. So you're not pushing that your opinion is a fact. You're just saying your opinion because that's what you believe in. But it doesn't mean that your opinion is a fact. Your opinion is a pin opinion. Because iba'y opinion na ibang tao. Sometimes that's how fight starts, you know. Um, they're pushing for their opinion to be right. That's why it's called an opinion. You know, it's it's subjective. So you have to be careful to find a way to make it, um, say it, or you would say it in a way that you would compromise your beliefs. But at the same time, you would still be respectful for other people's opinion. That's how I would do it. Hindi lang nasakto yung mga questions sa ganyan sa akin. Pero ready ako before. With different types of questions like that. Oh, because, de ba? Um, special, de ba? Kung yari, let's say if you encounter topics like gun control or transgenders yeah. joining beauty pageants, parang at, mm. at least alam mo niya sa sagot mo eh. Pero when yes. it comes to environmental questions, parang ang hirap talaga. So <laughs> can we make an example? Eto, kung yari, itong Dolomite Beach uh, rehabilitation, how mm. would you have answered it without ano? Sum- Sige, can you come up with an answer lang for the for the sake of uh for us to learn more? about how we should work around our answer when we uh-huh. encounter about questions like features? that. Well, yes. one thing I can say is that you have to weigh your options first. You know, the DNR approved of it. Other people said it's not good because they mined it from Cebu. But you need to understand that even with environmental issues, you just have to be careful to balance things. Because even with renewable energy such as dams, Um, it's not very much supported by a lot of people, but there are a lot of dams as well. It's a form of or a source of hydroelectric power, but it, we also know that it kind of harms a little of the environment when you also so, do dams. So you just have to find the perfect balance of it. The Dolomite Beach was already there. So you don't want to remove it there because it's already placed there. It really helps a lot of um, people with their mental issues, but we cannot continue to pursue all of these types of things for other processes. Or let's say how it's being rehabilitated, it still has to be balanced. Can you see so, how I answered? Parang yes. safe uh-huh. siya, uh-huh. pero hindi uh-huh. ko siya sabing mali or tama. Oo, oo, not neutral yeah. ka. Uh-huh. Not, yes, yes. Uh, ang keyword doon, may keyword ka doon, perfect balance. Yes, the balance of it. So, It's always uh-huh. like that. Tapos, tapos pwede mo rin dugtungan sa dulo na, at the end of the day, I hope that the government could find a middle ground Uh, in addressing this for the benefit or for the welfare of the people. Para alam mo yun, para yeah. okay. Para okay. And the environment, yeah. To just to tie kasi, it up. Yeah, pag naintindihan mo, kasi yung, it's not just about the environment, it's not just about the people, it's a balance of it. And I believe the government would always want what's best for both. You know, hindi kasi pwedeng all environment or all for people. They have to find the middle of it. And I believe that they researched about it before they actually did it. So, What do you want now? Hindi mo naman siya pa itanggalin kasi nandun na siya. Nag-alata sila ng money for it. And it's, yes, it's yes. also helping. It's also helping people. You know, their mental health. Na hindi kaya mag-afford ng beach. Ngayon, sa so city, 
beach na sila at some point and it really helps their mental health. So may mga ganong aspects that you also have to to check and to see. Kasi naglabas na sila ng money eh. So you want to remove it? It's another money, another budget that you have to do for, for it to be removed. Alam, may mga ganong concept. Uh-oh. You, you so, have to be open to that. So what I'm getting from you is that if we encounter political questions about environmental topics, kailangan you really have to sound neutral. Uh, without yes, offending neutral. both sides. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Yes, and at the same time, don't compromise your beliefs. Still be there. Because there are other people that, the way I heard them answer, is because they want to win so much that they really compromised their principles and they end up still not winning. There are those I heard questions that are like, I, I heard answers like that. They answered it in a very witty way. But for me, you want to be authentic. You want to win because you want to be looked up by people in the way you answered with a heart, not just because you want to win a crown. That's how I always see it. So it's not just about the crown. It's about how you're going to use that crown even after the ring. Because it's, you're going to be a part of history. You're going to be part of, you know, you're going to be remembered by people. So how do you want to use that? Values, principles are very important for me. I do not compromise that, even though the majority will not be on my side. True. And Chaka once you become a title holder, there will come a time that you will have to face and meet all these officials from the government. Mm-hmm. And parang awkward naman na parang kunyari, tinira mo sila sa sagot mo, tapos okay, <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay pag-collaborate ka sa kanila, di ba? Oo, pag gano'n. Di ba? So okay. kailangan okay. talaga may... Eh, paano yun? Um, <clears throat> paano yun kung eh, ikaw, hindi naman lahat ng girls katulad mo na nagre-research na, boy, na girl scout, nag na nagpe-prepare ahead of time. What if the girl doesn't know the topic being asked? Like, kunyari, um, kahit nag-review ko na, kunwari say, ito na nasa top 15 na sila, tapos parang nakakuha siya ng topic, di ba? Hashtag round. Tapos, wala siyang uh, alam doon sa hashtag. Oo, hindi niya alam. Kunyari, for the sake of argument, dolomite rehabilitation. Kunyari, hindi niya na-encounter yun, hindi siya nakapag-prepare. So, what na, if the girl doesn't... Totoo yan, ha? Oh. Yeah. Oh, It really oh. happened. Sorry, sorry to cut you off. So, alam mo, what if she encounters an environmental topic that she hasn't reviewed? How do you think she should answer? Kasi let's face it, pag environmental topics talaga, you really base it on facts and evidence. And mm-hmm, let's mm-hmm. face it, you really can yeah. fake your answer. There's yeah, no beating around true. the bush. There's actually a way to answer questions like that. Whether in general or about environmental, um, how you just understand that hashtag or that question, you go around that. That's it. Kasi naka-encounter na ako ng ganyan before. Uh-oh. I encountered a question. I'm not gonna say specifically when, ah. Pero it turned out great. <laughs> but I didn't understand specifically. Sabi ko, anong tinatanong niya? Parang hindi ko naiintindihan. Siyempre, first of all, huwag kong papahalata na hindi mo alam. I learned Uh-oh. that from college. I, my professor would always tell me, even if you didn't understand the question, you still have to be confident in answering them. So that's what I learned. Um, you cannot let them see that you don't understand. But you have to think fast. Mabilis. Ano yung sinabi niya? I don't know what the dolomite is. Or perhaps, it's a, maybe it's a form of a rock. But perhaps hindi mo alam, di ba? You have to go oh. around that thought. Kasi hindi mo alam eh. Ang pangit naman sasabihin mo sa pageant, I don't know what the dolomite oh, happened. Oh, I haven't reviewed. Yeah. Oh. Sorry po. Wala, natanggal ka na for sure. So you have, what did you have to do? You have to think fast. Ano ba yung naintindihan mo with that word na pwede mo i-connect? And you go around that. That's it. You're gonna go safer that way than just you saying, I really don't know. I'm very sorry. Kasi sure shot, tanggal ka na. Diba? There, there's a right way of doing it. How you understood it, how, what are the connections to the words that you understood, and just go around that. Kahit simple yung question or yung answer mo, kesa sabihin mo hindi mo alam. Kasi mas pangit yun. Nah, parang, why don't you know about this? It's a topic that is being brought out in the news. You should have known it. May mga ganun topic. Let's Uh-oh. say, hindi mo alam yung biodiversity. Paano mo sasagutin? Bio is about life. Diverse, iba-iba. So, doon ka na mag-go around, no? Sagutin so, mo. they have to, uh, they have to really base it on keywords. Work around yeah, it. Yeah, keywords. Work around that. Kasi yun lang yung way, eh. What, you, you, you can't go around something that you don't understand any relation to. Because what I did, I asked, I was asked a question na talagang, sabi ko, may ganun pa nangyayari. I just took a keyword then I went around that, and I was able to answer it well. And then people would say, huh, she really knew what she was talking about, huh? I, I, I encountered something like that before. I was like, hi, buti nila may nasabi ako. <laughs> I encountered something <laughs> like that before. Yeah. So, 
ng alright. So nakakatuwa naman. Yun na nga, eto na nga, since we're into, you know, we really are into dissecting environmental topics on how to ask these questions. And it's, but nagtatanong talaga tayo ng when environmental issues are always being asked, let's face it, it's very scientific by nature. So how do you think, ikaw, let's say if you were a judge, how hmm. do you think are the answers should be graded? Like if you were the judge for if you were a judge for Q and A, sometimes kasi talaga a girl can sound right and score high, but mm. with envi- but with environmental issues, it's all about science. So if mm. you were the judge, how would you base it on her conviction based on the empirical yeah. evidence that she or ad- added value that she gave on her answer to back it up? Mm-hmm. First of all, Miss Earth and pageantry is not a quiz B. That's one thing I can say. So people would always think na, ay, naku, pag sumagot ka, kailangan, like Karen, like parang scientific. Again, I'm going to repeat it. That just became my brand. Yun lang yung naging trademark ko. But you don't have to answer it like a quiz bee, okay? It, I, I sounded um, the balance of parang quiz bee na pageantry. That's how I did it. And that's how um, my strategy went about. But you don't have to do it that way. Your conviction is important. The content is important. There are 16 winners who went ahead of me. I was the 17th one. And no one answered scientifically. I was just the first one who did that. And you don't ha- see, you know, you, you don't have to answer it scientifically. You can just use words and you need to sound right. And not just right. You have to be right. And you need to believe in what you're saying. You need to have conviction. Your enunciation has to be right. Your pacing has to be right. You need to be confident in what you're saying and how a pageant really works. That's it. Um, it's it's not about being like me, how you answer. Nagkataon lang talaga na that's how I did it. But you have to be sure that what you're saying is correct. Hindi pwedeng, you're making it up. But it still depends on your delivery. It's still a pageant. It's it's the platform. It's not a quiz bee. So you need to understand how you would balance it in a way that it's correct and you're saying it in your brand and how you say things based on how a platform really is. So I learned how to play the game inside when I entered pageantry. So confidence, pla- balance, yeah, plus confidence. Your enunciation, your delivery is very important. Okay. So as long as she says something good, or parang she sounds with, she sounds, she answers her question with so much conviction. Yeah. That's enough for you. She doesn't have yeah. to add so much uh, empirical evidence just to sound or com- no. come across as someone who's all-knowing about her topic. No. 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 She doesn't, she doesn't have to sound like that. If you can sound like that your way, that's great. But if you're making it up, I can feel it. The judges can feel, the audiences can feel if you're just tailoring your answer so you want to win and you want to be the best. It can be felt. The authenticity can be felt. The confidence can be felt. So you cannot fool people that you would make this kind of um, jargons in your answers. And then when you're asked impromptu questions, you cannot answer. You got to learn to back it up. Because after I answered that, I got invited by the Department of Finance in a Senate hearing. So I did my own, uh, I did my own speech. No one was able to help me because I answered that question. They invited me. So we know that you're credible to actually do that. Those are some stuff. And then 98% of my interviews, I do not know the questions. 98%. So they're all impromptu questions in front of the TV. When I go out in public, I do not know what the questions will be. And I love Q&A because it really brings out what the person knows. And it's not scripted. That's why I like it. That's it. That says yeah. how magaling you are talaga. No? Na hindi ka nagdedemand ng <laughs> guide questions ahead of time. Na talaga, okay, you want it more spontaneous. Yeah, that's Kasi me. mas natural that's how I do thing mo. Yeah. So if you were to choose, kunyari as a judge, based on how these girls answer, one who doesn't sound right but makes so much sense, or someone who did not have so much conviction but makes sense. Kasi a minimum ah, that's gets very mo. hard. Yeah. Kasi di ba may mga hard. times na, di ba when it comes, especially sa aspiring beauty queens, ikaw kasi ngayon, ano ka na talaga eh. You've been there, kaya sinasabi mo sa amin, you really have to find the balance. Paano to mm-hmm. mga aspiring beauty queens na to, na talagang, let's face it, pag environmental topics talaga, walang keywords ka talagang, magre- wala kang pagre-rely ng mga keywords, di ba? 
o ano yung mga key phrase o kung wala kang alam ng mga keywords, ano dapat yung mga phrases ng mga na dapat alamin ng mga girls to remember when uh, we talk yeah. about environmental topics? Well, there there's no formula. Honestly, there's no formula. Uh, the keywords definitely is the issues that you need to understand, like global warming and the climate change. Those are the keywords already. It's already in the questions. There's no formula that I can give you. Because you need to really say it in your own words. So you really need to understand what you're saying. So it's important for me that you're right what she said. But you really have to believe. Because I've done that before. I judge something. Na, um, he was asked of a question. In Mali yung sagot niya, pero sakto pa rin naman, pero he just believed so much of his answer. I chose that person more than the other one. Kasi, hindi naman malayo yung sagot niya. Hindi naman siya completely wrong. But then, I loved how he believed with the answer that he said. So, it's very important. As long as wag naman 180 degrees mali ah. Oh. Wag ganun. Pero yung, kasi naniniwala siya sa sinasabi niya, it's really different. Those are like, we call it mga non-verbal communications that you need to understand. It's not just the verbal communications that you need. So it's important for you to be believable with the way you answer things, the way you deliver things. That's very important. It's one thing I actually teach audiences now. That's nice. So, yun nga. So, walang, so kung walang mga keywords, kailangan ano lang talaga, you really have to believe in your answer. You really mm-hmm. have to sound so passionate about it. Are there also important dates, people, milestones that we have to remember when it comes to environmental issues. Definitely. Definitely. Because it's facts. Siya. So you need to understand like the pre-industrial times, how it happened. Bakit nangyayari yung climate change? Bakit may Paris Agreement? Bakit may COP26? Very important yan. Um, those are like the things that you need to understand. What are the milestones in the climate change era? Like how it happened before? Like what are the sources? So important siya to understand kasi um, it's not a question that you can go around without knowing anything. So even though you don't know everything, that's fine. As long as you know the general side or the bigger umbrella, that's good. And you can say it in your own words. Okay. Tama, tama naman. Oo. Para naman... Feeling ko, pag, nalaman, pag alam mo yung mga basic know-how na yun, at least somehow yeah. you could get away with any yeah. environmental questions that will be asked of you. And napansin ko naman sa Miss Earth, especially sa intelligence round, they don't ask questions na talagang that are coming out yeah, of nowhere. They yeah. usually base correct, it from correct. your profile, from especially correct. kung may advoca- environmental advocacy ka. They're just testing yeah. how genuine you are sa hmm. advocacy mo. Pero kasi pagdating sa hashtag round, yun yun talagang yeah. nakakaloka Drop talaga. Drop na. Mahala oh, na yan. Oh, parang kunyari, ito, ito, nung time mo ba to? O nung 2018, parang hashtag harassment. Parang, ah, yeah. parang paano ko i-relate yung hashtag harassment sa sa Paris Agreement, sa kailangan quick thinking ka talaga sa, <laughs> di ba, sa yeah. COP Summit, kay yeah. Greta Thunberg. So parang, yeah. alam mo yun, parang, yun nga eh, kaya tinanong kita, kaya tinanong kita, may mga keywords ba? Meron bang important mm. dates, people, milestones na dapat alam na nila basic para kapag tinanong sila about hashtag harassment o yung mga tipong, ha, ano tong hashtag grab na to? ba diba? Parang, right. or how to answer. Masas- yeah. How to answer, ba diba? So, yeah, she is a graduate of UP. And, no, no, uh, no, I'm from UST. Uh, UST? Yeah. Okay, so, yun na nga, and, You know, we're talking about um, authenticity na uh, believability as well. So, a lot of aspiring queens are really preparing mm-hmm. for their environmental, for their basic environmental knowledge because, you know, let's face it, talagang, especially now, ang dami ng environmental questions na tinatanong, hindi lang sa Miss Earth, but in all other pageants. So, um, ang tanong ko na lang dito, um, How do you think um how do you think an an aspiring beauty queen can promote her environmental advocacy considering mm. that uh we are still living in a pandemic right now? Uh one thing you need to understand is what Kasi do you want to ang... talk about? Yeah. Oo. I- I- wait, mali pa lang question ko. Mali, off topic pala. Uh ano pala? So Diba, let's say, we're talking about believability, ano, believability, authenticity. Mm. 
So does it help that the girl has to be aware, socially aware of environmental issues? Yes. As early as a child. Not not necessarily as a child because when I entered before, wala naman din ako pakialam with the environment. And this is I'm being real, lah. I am a, a good example oh. of a normal person. Like I didn't care much of the environment before. I started caring when my eyes were opened, when I saw all these things happening um, in front of me. When I joined Miss Earth, it really opened my eyes. So I had a great background in science. I did my research. I prepared beforehand before joining Miss Earth. And then when I saw these things, I saw the importance of doing it, not just because I want to do it for myself, but because I understood why I was doing it and wanting to share it to other people. But you have to be socially aware. I was asked before by Pinky Web. I could remember it was an interview about current events. Naman sabi niya. Um, it was the question was related about current events. So when you're join, joining pageants, current events is very important. You need to know about current events. But sabi ko nga, I also do current events now, and I just do it because I want to be a good citizen of the Philippines, not just because I'm preparing for a pageant. And that's the same. You know, you, you just don't prepare for something because y- you want to win it, but you need to find a purpose of why you're actually wanting to know it. Is it because you want to be a good citizen of the Philippines? Is it because you want to increase your knowledge and help people to understand it better? So it's not just about preparing for the pageant. Kasi kapag nag-prepare ka lang, magsistop eh. Magsistop yung progress mo. Pag nanalo ka na, or hindi ka nanalo, ayaw ka na kasi hindi ko naman nakuha eh. So it's important for you to actually do it because you want to become better. And you actually want to help people. That's that's how I started. True, true. So last few questions. Alam mo, I'm learning so much from you, but we have to end this now because we've been talking for more than for almost an hour already. Mm-hmm. So, um, as a last question, you know, uh, how do you think can somebody without a platform promote green living, like a simple person? Yeah. Wow, that's what I that's what I always do with my talks. I encourage people to do individual actions. Because you can never overlook individual actions. I'm going to go back with my answer. Our micro efforts, meaning your individual actions, will have a macro effect. Meaning I can't do it alone, you can't do it alone. We have to do things together. That's why I always encourage people to not be afraid to do individual actions. Because combined together, you're going to make a bigger and greater impact it's something that i cannot do people like me who has a platform we maximize it so we can encourage people because we can't do this without you i'm just one person i always tell that i do not have any difference from you parehas lang tayong individual so what i want to do is to share my voice um, in sharing to people what i do so you can also do it you don't necessarily need to have a platform you can start from your homes you can start in sharing it with your parents with your family, sas lumalawak siya. She share nila sa kawork nila, she share nila sa kapit bahay nila. Then nags start lahat. So you don't necessarily need to be a public figure or have a a platform for you to do that. But great if you have it, so you maximize it. But at the same time, you can do it in a ma- micro way, you know, in an individual way. Because the word of mouth it's very important. Nasabi mo lang sa kapit bahay mo, nasasabi niya sa katabing kapit bahay mo. Or nasabi mo sa family mo, nasasabi niya sa relatives niya, it works. Sometimes businesses start with just a word of mouth and it really spreads like wildfire. So I really encourage you, even though you're an individual, it works. There you go, guys. True. Diba? Diyan nagsisimula yung mga kung paano nagpo-form yung interest natin talaga. Especially when it yeah. comes to environmental topics. Diba? So yep. there you go, guys. Thank you so much. Sorry guys, ang sarap ng interview but I had to cut it na kasi talagang Karen has something else to do. Thank you so much. Talagang bitin ang one hour. Kailangan ng part two, Chos. <laughs> Thank you Grabe for having no? me. I can't believe na parang we've spoken for almost an hour just by talking about environmental topics which are uh-huh. normally parang boring by nature. But with with a guest like you, we make it sound so... Engaging and intellectual. Salamat. Wow. Talagang we really have a great resource person in you. So maraming salamat uli, Ms. Karen Ibasco. Thank you. And hope to see you. Sana you'll be part of this year's virtual setup. Eh, coronation night. 
wink, November wink. Just, just wait for it. Just wait for it. <laughs> just wait for it, you guys. <laughs> Alright, stay safe and hydrated. Mua, I really had fun Bye. catching up with you. Mua. Bye. Bye. Thank you.